Hello. So I have my new um, bench vise here that I am messing with. This comes in handy for people that are getting older. Um, you can get arthritis in your hands or you can just get old, you know, and your joints don't work as well. The first time I worked on a master lock number three, my hands cramped up from I was holding it so hard. So I'm just trying to see how this works for, uh, I have a can of oat, oats that I'm sitting this on and some Domino's tin. So that's my tripod. As you can tell, I, uh, I go for the good stuff when I need to. Well, I don't even know if I'm getting tension correctly on that. I'll try a different tension wrench. That's too small. I should have felt some pins move or something and I didn't feel any of that. So, I'll use a big one. This is Schlage Keyway. I think I know how to spell Schlage now. Big mystery to me before it sounded weird. Schlage. Um, I need to adjust pressure. Normally you should use an oh, earthquake. Normally you should use like leather or something if you're protecting a vice or it's a customer's lock or I mean the lock itself, but this is mine, I'm the customer. Am I raking this? What am I doing here? I must say it's different than holding it in your hand. You can feel tension different when you hold it in your hand. Let me get the, uh... If I open this, which I should be able to, we're going to try gutting it. So I pull it apart and show you what kind of nastiness the, uh... person who keyed this up is challenge lock, which was me. My alter ego. I don't know if you can see my hands, I'm going to try my um, flame pick on here. I can hear those, you hear those? We hear every one of those pins moving. Wow, the, uh, the vice amplifies the sound feedback. That's, I just got a false set just from checking the pins, so I just going through there and raking it. I should be able to get it open. I've done it with a bow guitar. And usually a, anything a bow guitar will get, the flame will usually get, but not always. It was designed after a bow guitar. I think it's part of this is the awkwardness of uh, Using, <coughs> excuse me, using this bench for the first time in my new improved oatmeal domino setup, tripod setup. Try city rake. We don't care what we open it with. We're just trying to open it something other than a key. Crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. It does amplify the sound of the lock through the metal. That's what I think is pretty good. That's, I'm just going to have to learn how to uh, pick a lock and a vice. You would think it would be easier. I'm going to switch to a snake design. It keeps everything in focus at least, you know. I mean, you don't have to... With your hand, you're always running back and forth and with me. It'd help if I was in the right part of the lot. It's getting violent. Well, we're learning something. I may have to stage it as partial opening. It's like, hey, he takes it out of his hand, <laughs> takes it out of the vice and does it in his hand. Yeah, we can do that too. It's the angle too. I do like being able to sit down. I'm sitting at the dinner table. I do like to be able to sit down and do something, but the device is, you know, out there a distance from me. And that might have something to do with 
how you open a lock. Um, you're already taking 800 years to upload another video. See, I put tension on it. And I can feel tension better in my hand, I don't know. And I use the lock, I see that's what it is too. I'm manipulating the lock in my hand up and down. But you're not doing in the vise, you're just holding it steady there. And if you're gonna rake, you're doing your rake attack. I see why it's different in a vise and than in your hand. Now I know what is going on. I can't find my little, um, it's late in the morning, like 5 a.m. I can't find a lot of things. I don't know why I set them down. But this is part of the Sparrow's uh, reload kit that I was going to use to disassemble it. And I also have my Huck pan out here. The miracles of technology. Oh, it's all my tripod. There is my other part of my stand here. But yeah, we've got the um, little huck set ready for disassembly once I get this undone. The amazing, this is a 360 degree swivel vice. See, it's swiveling 360 degrees. A minute, Ent craft, 4 inch, 10 centimeter, made in China. It's a nice sturdy thing though, and with this, you know, depending on what angle you set your lock in, you can clamp it like this, you Europeans would like this because the pins are down. Us Americans would try something like that, or angle it like this. If you want to try bizarre picking, you know, you can do all that, but I'm going to uh, get it open and then I will lay all the little pins out here. And we don't have to do the vise, that was just part of the, uh, me checking that out. I will use a vise, I'll start using it and getting used to it. Because it does hold it steady for you, and like I said, it helps you out. So I hope you, um, enjoyed this review of a table vise. Just a regular old table vise. I like to say that, uh, it was... In the forty to fifty dollar range, American money, not Canadian dollar, American dollar. And this slag I've opened many a time. I was just going to show you what's in it. Show myself too. I've forgotten. You could leave a little note in your pinning trays and stuff, you know, and say, "Hey, this is what I pinned it up with," but I didn't do that. All right, we are signing off from Looney Land here. Looney Land. <coughs> Some things will drive you crazy. Dominoes is not one of them. Certain locks and lock picking is actually therapy for me. Therapy. All right. Sorry I couldn't open that right now. I'm getting batty and loony. Right now my UK brethren would be waking up. There's a time delay. Alright, nine minutes. A good time to shut it off. Hope you enjoyed this uh, review. It turned out to be of a table vise. I was going to open a lot. And do it. it turned out to be a review of a table vise. We're beaming you back to your regularly scheduled programming.